So I was able to watch Twisters, so let's review it. And obviously, this is a fun tornado movie. If you're just looking for a movie to have a bunch of fun with, this is the movie. Because you just get that fun tornado type movie. As fun as the original film. The tornadoes in this movie are also a lot stronger because it shows a lot more people dying. I think that's just because back in the day you can't really show that because of you don't have the right equipment to make something like that. But now you can do that. So you see a lot more people die in this movie because there's a lot more intense disasters. These huge tornadoes, flaming tornadoes. There's a bunch of over-the-top tornadoes too. It's all a fun time. Now, I am a fan of Glenn Powell's character. He is probably the best character in this entire movie. Every other character is fun too, but I feel like Glenn Powell's character just stands out entirely because he's basically the funny part of the movie. He, whatever, like, whatever he does and whatever a character reaction is from what he is doing, those are the, probably the funniest moments of the film. And it's all from Glenn Powell's character. He's a daredevil in this movie. Not like a hilarious comedy type character. But an entertaining character to watch. And I don't know if the movie is meant just to be dumb fun. But for me it didn't feel like dumb fun. It felt like I felt for the characters for the most part in the movie. Not all of them. I still rather see tornadoes happening on screen. But I did like the story that the main characters were going on. And it's not like I just wanted the tornado on screen. I wanted to see what these characters are up to as well. Not note though, I feel like there's a lot more tornadoes in this movie. Compared to the original movie, there's a lot more tornadoes in this one. A lot more of that disaster and hunting in this movie. And the movie just ends up being a fun time at the movies. But I have problems. So my first thing is, some parts of this movie feel slow. I, around the middle point where it starts introducing the main plot of the movie, of what this device is, that part of the movie, it starts slowing down. Not as strong as every other part of the movie. The final act, the first act, even the start of the second act. But just right here where they start introducing this device that this the main character worked on that had something to do at the beginning of the movie. When they start introducing that again, it starts slowing down right there, but quickly picks that up. Speaking on that main device, it takes- that's the main plot point of the movie, I say. Basically that area- that, that plot point right there is basically the main plot point of the movie, and that happens, I want to say, about an hour and 20 minutes into the film. So the main plot point of the movie, of what this basically arc is on, is you introduced to it at the first hour and 20 minutes. It takes a full hour, 20 minutes to get to that point in the film. Maybe it's shorter, but I know it's around the hour mark. And it takes a long time to get to that moment. But the movie's fun until then. It's not slow. Bunch of tornadoes happen and stuff. Bunch of dumb fun right there. The last problem with this movie is that it can feel like the original movie at some parts. I can't really spoil much, but... At some moments of the movie, certain character arcs felt the same. Certain characters have the same things that the other that the characters had in the first movie, and it almost it's almost like this movie is a reboot, but also a sequel. So I don't know if it's a reboot or a sequel because it feels like the first movie. Certain character arcs of how they play out it's a little too familiar to that first movie. Twisters is a fun time at the movie theaters. I would definitely recommend watching this movie. And out of 10, I'll give Twisters an 8 out of 10. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, maybe these ones on the side interest you too. Like, subscribe, and see you guys next time. Goodbye.